The session of parliament has concluded and continuous disruption and ruckus by the opposition was witnessed during the winter session. Let's discuss that uh, in detail with our guest tonight. Joining us at the moment is Mr. N.K. Singh. He's a senior journalist. Thank you, Mr. Singh, for Thank joining you. us here on Doordarshan News. Uh, Mr. Singh, I'll come to the legislative work being hit by continuous uh, uproar by the opposition on various issues. I want to talk about the public angst and resentment among public first, you know, because parliament is a forum and institution to debate crucial issues and you know to debate critical issues of national importance and crucial legislations that are required for the country's growth and progress uh, you know uh, on the economic front as well that has been hit so there's a, a genuine uh, and a nationwide resentment and angst among the public against the opposition for not letting parliament function Nancy why do we have parliament in the first place all over the world the reason that for having a parliament in, mm -hmm. in a democracy was mooted on the stock premise. There are four basic principles of running a, a democratic government. Hmm. First is majority rule hmm. that we have in India. Second is recognition of minority rights. Hmm. Third is constitutional government. And fourth and most important is governance by discussion. Hmm. That precisely is the reason why we have institution of parliament. Sure. Otherwise, a government might as well say, I got the, uh, the mandate of the people. Why should you ask questions? Mm. I will be responsible to the people five years hence. Mm. So wh why do we have parliament? Pa because we have to live by governance by discussion. Mm. That precisely is the reason why we have the processes like adjournment motion, no confidence motion, mm. zero hour, question hour. Mm. We have it because we have to deliberate on issues. Mm. In adversarial democracy that we have in India or the competitive politics that we have in India, opposition raises issues hmm. that raise the public uh, uh, consciousness on that and then bring it to the floor of the house and then they deliberate on the issue. Hmm. Whatever is right, people watch it and then they take a decision. That is how democracy functions. Hmm. Now the very reason that it is not a, contract, a car parking contract. Mm -hmm. Govern, govern, government cannot say that no, it is a car. Uh, I, I have got uh, the mandate of the people for five years. Mm -hmm. That's why we have opposition. Now, what was the role of the opposition in this case? They should have deliberated on major public issues, mm -hmm. legislations. Mm -hmm. Did they do that? Mm -hmm. Instead of that, they disrupted the parliament, the very basic reason that of uh, parliament. Mm -hmm. That is governance by discussion. Mm -hmm. That was uh, completely demolished. Mm -hmm with the result that uh, opposition has uh, 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 failed to live up to the expectation that people had. Hmm. And what, was the, what were the issues? Hmm. On a charge of corruption which was in the uh, sure. uh, judiciary, sure. which a summons was issued against a particular uh, so political So being a party. responsible opposition is what is expected of them? Highly responsible uh, the conduct right. was uh, expected and that precisely is the reason why after for the past several years hmm. people are watching how opposition is conducting itself be it by the BJP be it Congress and they are very much fed up with this mm -hmm. because there is no public issue hmm. on which this entire banner uh, the, 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 the entire bogey was raised hmm. what was the issue all this entire session was washed out hmm. and what was the issue what was the public issue hmm. Just because somebody has got a summons, okay, and that's why you are going to for the first two days. I am very much perturbed by a party which is 130 years old, hmm. and they have they do not have the elementary acumen mm -hmm. to run uh, 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 to know how democracy is run. Mm -hmm. and Congress, for the first time, I have observed. I have been uh, 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 covering parliament for many decades. Mm -hmm. For the first time, I find that Congress strategist. Hmm. At, at, at a loss. They mm -hmm. do not know how to raise an issue. So raising a non-issue. Non-issue and that to de demolishing some fundamental uh, institutions right. like uh, alleging as a result of these a continuous when a court has issued a summons. Right. So as a result of the these continuous disruptions Mr. Singh if I can quote the productivity figures at the moment 46 percent mayor 46 percent productivity was registered in the Rajya Sabha whereas in the Lok Sabha it was 100 0.4 percent you know uh, and I want to talk about uh, loss to the public exchequer as well because the loss of ours in the Rajya Sabha per se has resulted in a loss of nearly 10 crore rupees to the exchequer so there's a monetary aspect also involved in you know in not letting no, parliament no, function 
uh, there is much more than that, what meets the eyes. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're talking about just 10 crore. In a democracy, 10 crore is not a, mm -hmm. an amount. Mm -hmm. The problem was that was it really quality productivity, mm -hmm. even 46 percent? Mm -hmm. A bill was, a major bill was passed without much of debate. Mm -hmm. It was in a hurriedly passed, hmm. the, uh, the uh, JJB, the, the Juvenile Justice uh, yes. Bill. So that is why it was not called 46 percent hmm. was productivity, no doubt, but it was hmm. not pro quality productivity. Hmm. Then the loss was in terms of public faith in these institutions. Right. The public faith in the, uh, condu the conduct of the opposition. And the so question are also, massive. and the question are also, Mr. Singh, because question are, uh, you know, is something that we saw becoming a major casualty of these disruptions. Now that is the, the question when MPs can raise questions of public importance. Questionnaire is something that became a casualty of these continuous disruptions. I tell you, Nancy, I've been covering parliament for many decades. There is an unwritten uh, the, the practice. And the, f the first is that normally question hours are not disrupted hmm. because individual MPs are involved hmm. and they raise the issue of their own constitu constituency. Hmm. So the constituents, those who are voters, hmm. and this is a link between voter and the member representative who raises public issue hmm. of their constituency hmm. uh, on the floor of the house. So this is first time I'm finding that even the ca question hour has become casualty hmm. in this entire mudslinging. Mm -hmm. So my question is, to the Congress or to the opposition mm -hmm. broadly, that why why do you disrupt Parliament in the first place? Then even if you don't want a discussion, all right. Mm -hmm. But question hour are sub where where, where sure. public issues Absolutely. are taken up, and you are disrupting question hour. So you are demolishing the tradition which has been built up in the past. Breaking years. away from the tradition. Yeah. Uh, would you say, Mr. Singh, that there is a need for you know for rules or for reforms to prevent productivity of the entire house being held hostage by continuous slogan shouting on various uh, issues or non-issues? You know, because efforts to thwarting pro uh, productivity of either of the houses of parliament is condemnable. No, how can you imagine a parliament being held uh, held, uh, held to ransom mm -hmm. by certain uh, 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 certain political party? Mm -hmm. This is unthinkable, uh, and and I think this is high time that we evolve some procedure mm -hmm. wherein this kind of disruption doesn't take place. Mm -hmm. This is high time we have been observing. This has become habit of the opposition, whoever in the opposition, mm -hmm. and this is high time that we evolve some method mm -hmm. wherein some processes, some sure. procedures wherein. Nobody can be allowed to get into a uh, veil. Absolutely. You have to raise an issue. All right, do that. Hmm. But you cannot get into the veil. Hmm. And if you do it, it should be very sparingly used. Hmm. I mean, this facility should be used very sparingly. Sure. And sure. Some, some, uh, some kind of hmm. action hmm. Must, be, uh, uh, must be attached to this kind of conduct. Sure. I think this is time that all po political uh, po parties hmm. sit together hmm. and decide as to how hmm. uh, parliament should run. Sure. There because, should having an be active, an because having an active and vibrant parliament is in the interest of the democracy and the entire Without nation. that, you cannot run the sure. government, you cannot run right. democracy. People Absolutely. lose faith in democracy Absolutely. itself. All right, Mr. Singh, thanks very much for joining us uh, on Doordarshan News this evening and sharing your perspective with us. Thank you very much.